Hello everyone, how are you? I hope that you're all doing well and that you're all staying safe in this pandemic crisis. Welcome back to class after your one week of holidays. I hope that you really enjoyed your Raya. Now before we start, let us refresh what we have learned before in module 4. The first lesson that we had in this module is on seasons. There are many countries that have four seasons. Do you remember the seasons? Adakah murid-murid masih mengingat empat musim yang ada di banyak negara-negara lain selain Malaysia? Okay, mari kita lihat semula. The first season is spring. Spring. This is the season when a lot of flowers begin to grow. Ini adalah musim di mana banyak bunga-bunga mula bertumbuhan. The next season is summer. Summer. This is the season when it gets really hot and a lot of people like to go to the beach. Ini adalah musim di mana ia menjadi sangat panas dan ramai orang suka pergi ke pantai. The third season is autumn. Autumn. This is the season when the leaves start to fall and it gets colder. Ini adalah musim di mana daun-daun mula berjatuhan dari pokok-pokok dan cuaca pun menjadi lebih sejuk. The fourth season is winter. Winter. This is the season when snow starts to fall and children play with snowman. Okay, ini adalah musim di mana kanak-kanak bermain dengan salji-salji yang sudah mula turun. What about in Malaysia? Do you remember the seasons we have in Malaysia? In Malaysia, there are two seasons. Dalam Malaysia ada dua musim. The first season is dry. Dry. The dry season is when the sun gets too hot, terlalu panas, sehingga pokok-pokok mula menggugurkan daun mereka dan tanah-tanah pun mula menjadi kering. Ini adalah musim kemarau. The second season is the rainy season. This is the season when there is a lot of rain. Okay, rainy season adalah musim di mana kita mengalami sangat banyak hujan. Cikgu yakin yang kita semua sudah mengalami kedua-dua musim ini. The other lesson that we had in this module is on days of the week. So, there are seven days in a week. It starts with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. After Sunday, it will go all the way back to Monday. Jadi, kita ada Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, dan Sunday ni. Selepas Sunday, kita akan ulang semula dari Monday. Okay? Okay. Jadi, lesson pada hari ini adalah sangat berkaitan with our first lesson. A lesson on seasons. Today, we will look at the seasons around the world. Jadi, murid-murid boleh melihat pada buku teks muka surat 38. Sebab teks yang cikgu ambil ni daripada buku teks muka surat 38-nya 38. Seasons around the world. For this lesson, we will only need three things. Your Get Smart Plus 3 textbook is what we have talked about. Your exercise book, buku latihan murid-murid. And your stationeries. Okay, untuk setiap yang tidak tahu apa ni stationeries, ini adalah alat tulis. Alat tulis dalam bahasa Inggeris is stationeries. Okay, pencil, pemadam, pembaris. Gunakan apa yang perlu ya. 
Classroom Objectives For this lesson, we have two objectives. The first one is pupils will be able to match phrases to create at least two correct sentences based on Activity 1. Activity 1 ini adalah bahan bacaan kita nanti ya. Jadi murid-murid nanti kena perlu padankan uh, potongan ayat lah. Lepas tu gabung-gabung-gabung dan buat berkata eh, buat ayat. The second objective is pupils will be able to match at least two characters to their favorite activities correctly. Okay, ini adalah listening activity. Murid-murid perlu dengar, dengar dan jawab. Okay. Now, let us look at the vocabulary section in page 38. So, there are three activities. The first one is go windsurfing. Go windsurfing. Next, go skiing. Go skiing. Go sailing. Go sailing. Ini tiga adalah activity, activity. Next one, warm. Warm. Ini dia beritahu uh, panas ke sejuk. Ini maksud dia suam. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay. Ini maksud dia sejuk. Lah. Next, windy. Windy. Ini maksud dia dia berangin, angin. Mari kita lihat apa maksud vocabulary in here, okay? What about the first one? Okay, here we can see ada orang yang sedang bermain di ombak di laut. Ini dipanggil go wind surfing. Wind surfing, okay? Dia bermain dengan ombak di laut lah. Menggunakan alat ini. Next. Kita lihat tempat ini tempat yang bersalji. Let us see. Go skiing. Go skiing. Aktiviti ini dipanggil skiing. Okay. Next. Nah, ini lebih kurang macam go windsurfing tadi. Tapi ini dia menggunakan boat. Boat yang boleh ramai orang naik. Ini dipanggil go sailing. Go sailing. Okay. Next. Okay, kita lihat dalam gambar ni ada matahari yang terang. Baju mereka pun tidak panjang. Begitu kan? So, this is called warm. Cuaca yang selesa. Tidak terlalu panas. Tidak terlalu sejuk. Just right. Okay. Warm. Next. Okay, ini dia kelihatan sejuk. Dia memakai baju-baju yang tebal. Kita lihat sini. Cool. Cool. Okay, yang tadi. Yang tadi dia tidak pakai baju tebal kan. Ini dia sudah memakai baju yang tebal. Seperti lelaki ini juga. Kita lihat sini ada angin yang kuat. Jadi ini dipanggil cuaca yang berangin. Lelaki ini pun mau terbang sudah. Okay, so now let us look at the text below. Cikgu akan mainkan audio. Murid-murid, sila dengar ya. Activity 1. Listen and read. Science. Seasons around the world. 1. In Canada, it's winter from December to February. It's cold and it snows in the winter. People wear hats, coats, gloves and scarves. Many people in Canada go skiing in the winter. 2. In Australia, it's summer from December to February. It's hot and sunny. People go swimming in the summer. Sometimes it's very windy and people go windsurfing. 3. Thailand has three seasons, the rainy season, the cool season, and the hot season. 
The weather in Thailand is always warm. People wear t-shirts and shorts. They go sailing in the cool and hot seasons. Okay, jadi kita sudah dengar audio yang dimainkan. Mari cikgu jelaskan apa maksud teks ini. So here we have three pictures. The first picture is about people skiing. Skiing. Okay, meluncur salji. Okay, dia ceritakan sini di Canada. It's winter from December to February. It's cold and it snows in winter. Okay, dia sejuk dan bersalji. Jadi orang-orang pakai hats, topi, coat, coat, gloves, sarung tangan and scarves. Okay, macam orang-orang sinilah mereka memakai baju-baju yang tebal. Many people in Canada go skiing in the winter. Pada waktu winter ramai orang di Canada yang pergi skiing. Go skiing. Okay, let us look at the next one. Okay, we look at this one. Dia tidak pakai boat. Maksudnya dia sedang windsurfing. Okay, dia sedang bermain dengan ombak ya. Yeah. In Australia, it's summer from December to February. It's hot and sunny. People go swimming in the summer. Sometimes it's very windy. Okay. Waktu Australia punya sama, dia adalah sangat berangin. And people go wind surfing. Okay? Wind surfing. Next one and last one. Okay, picture number three. Ini adalah gambar sebuah boat. Boat. Ada ramai orang. Dia bukan satu orang sahaja, kan? Okay. Thailand, ini di Thailand, has three seasons. Okay, the rainy season, the cool season, and the hot season. The weather in Thailand is always warm. Di Thailand selalu suam. Macam kita sini lah, dia tidak terlalu panas, tidak terlalu sejuk, begitu kan? Jadi, people wear t-shirts and shorts. They go sailing in the cool and hot seasons. Okay, jadi... Uh, orang Thailand kalau dia tidak rainy season It's cool and it's hot Mereka pergi sailing Okay Now, Let us look at the task That I'm going to give you Task 1 Read activity 1 and match Okay macam mana mau jawab ni Kita cuma perlu Gariskan jawapan yang betul Mari kita lihat the first one. People in Canada. People in Canada, kalau kita lihat dalam activity one yang kita baru baca tadi. It is in picture number one. Gambar pertama. So, people in Canada, apa yang mereka buat? Mereka skiing. Jadi, kita gariskan. People in Canada go skiing. Bila? In the cool and hot seasons ka? Winter kah ataupun summer? Okay, skiing dia ada salji kan? Salji cuma turun pada waktu winter. So, in the winter. Okay, murid-murid teruskan menjawab seperti ini untuk nombor dua dan nombor tiga juga ya. Now, let us look at the second task. Task 2. Listen and match. Jadi di sini ada 6 gambar. 1, 2, 3, A, B, C. Murid-murid perlu gabungkan, padankan. Padankan mana gambar yang sesuai dengan audio yang cikgu akan mainkan sebentar lagi. Okey? Mari kita dengar. Activity 3. Listen and match. 1. What's your favorite season, Susie? Oh, I love the winter. I love playing in the snow with my sister and going skiing with my parents. Two. 
I can't wait for summer to come. Why? Do you like swimming? No, I don't like swimming, but I like windsurfing. I always go windsurfing with my friends in the summer. Three. Hey, Ray. What do you like doing in the summer? Well, I love swimming. And of course, I always go sailing with my parents. Really? I go sailing with my parents too. It's really fun. Okay. Jadi, uh, cikgu akan bagi contoh nombor satu, Suzy. Tadi Suzy katakan dia suka winter. I really love winter and she loves to go skiing. Jadi kita buat garisan dari Suzy ke go skiing which is in B. Okay, untuk number two and number three, murid-murid sila jawab sendiri. Okay, kalau murid-murid tidak dapat lukis, cikgu benarkan murid-murid untuk cuma tulis Suzy, Max, Mary and Ray. Dan di sini, go sailing, go skiing and go windsurfing. Okay, selepas murid-murid sila, sudah selesai, sila hantar gambar uh, kerja murid-murid. Dan hantar kepada WhatsApp cikgu. So that is all for today. I hope that you can complete your work and that you understand our lesson for today. See you next time.